today's lesson is Lesson 45 from the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 45. God is the mind with which I think. God is the mind with which I think. Today's idea holds the key to what your real thoughts are. They are nothing that you think you think, just as nothing that you think you see is related to vision in any way. There is no relationship between what is real and what you think is real. Nothing that you think are your real thoughts resemble your real thoughts in any respect. <laughs> Nothing that you think you see bears any resemblance to what vision will show you. You think with the mind of God. Therefore, you share your thoughts with Him as He shares His with you. They are the same thoughts because they are thought by the same mind. To share is to make alike or to make one. Nor do the thoughts you think with the mind of God leave your mind because thoughts do not leave their source. Therefore, your thoughts are in the mind of God as you are. They are in your mind as well where He is. As you are part of His mind, so are your thoughts part of His mind. Where then are your real thoughts? Today we will attempt to reach them. We will have to look for them in your mind because that is where they are. They must still be there because they cannot have left their source. What is thought by the mind of God is eternal, being part of creation. Our three five-minute practice periods for today will take the same general form that we used in applying yesterday's idea. We will attempt to leave the unreal and seek for the real. We will deny the world in favor of truth. We will not let the thoughts of the world hold us back. We will not let the beliefs of the world tell us that what God would have us do is impossible. Instead, we will try to recognize that only what God would have us do is possible. We will also try to understand that only what God would have us do is what we want to do. And we will also try to remember that we cannot fail in doing what he would have us do. There is every reason to feel confident that we will succeed today. It is the will of God. Begin the exercises for today by repeating the idea to yourself, closing your eyes as you do so. Then spend a fairly short period in thinking a few relevant thoughts of your own, keeping the idea in mind. After you have added some four or five thoughts of your own to the idea, repeat it again and tell yourself gently, my real thoughts are in my mind. I would like to find them. Then try to go past all the unreal thoughts that cover the truth in your mind and reach to the eternal. Under all the senseless thoughts and mad ideas with which you have cluttered up your mind, are the thoughts that you thought with God in the beginning. They are there in your mind now, completely unchanged. They will always be in your mind, exactly as they always were. Everything you have thought since then will change, but the foundation on which it rests is wholly changeless. It is this foundation toward which the exercises for today are directed. Here is your mind joined with the mind of God. Here are your thoughts, one with His. For this kind of practice, only one thing is necessary. Approach it as you would an altar dedicated in heaven to God the Father and to God the Son. For such is the place you are trying to reach. You will probably be unable as yet to realize how high you are trying to go. Yet even with little understanding you have already gained, 
you should be able to remind yourself that this is no idle game, but an exercise in holiness and an attempt to reach the kingdom of heaven. In the shorter exercise periods for today, try to remember how important it is to you to understand the holiness of the mind that thinks with God. Take a minute or two, as you repeat the idea throughout the day, to appreciate your mind's holiness. Stand aside, however briefly, from all thoughts that are unworthy of him whose host you are, and thank him for the thoughts he is thinking with you. That's lesson 45, God is the mind in which I think. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresason.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.